Hello everyone, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to share some of the tips and tricks you can do on the new Lenovo K3 Note. So this device has a 5.5 inch uh, full HD display and it's powered by Android Lollipop and it has an Octa-Core uh, processor V2 GB RAM. So it's a pretty good uh, device in terms of the features. So now let's see uh, the, some of the tips and tricks you can do on this device. So this uh, has this Vibe UI which is a custom UI on top of Android. So let's get started with the tips and tricks. So first step, let's see how to customize the device. So if you just uh, press and hold the, uh, the menu option, you can see some uh, additional options. You can edit the home screen uh, and then you can add widgets. So you can see here uh, a lot of widgets are supported. So if you, if you want to add a widget, you can just uh, add widgets here or you can uh, even add uh, multiple home screens. I can see here you can add a uh, home screen and then uh, uh, drag and drop uh, the widget here. So those, those things are available from uh, this option. Now let's go back and you can see the theme center. We'll come back to the theme center later. Now let's go to the wallpaper. So here we have these wallpapers. We can see, change the wallpapers. So this basic set of options on almost all phones. Now let's go to the screen manager. So you can see here this is set as the home screen now. So you can change the home screen and set multiple other, other uh, pages as home screen. So that option is available here. So that's the screen manager. Now going back to this option, you can see home screen settings, so you can see uh, infinite scrolling on the home screen, that is even if you scroll uh, after the end of the last uh, page, you can come back to the, uh, the home page uh, by using the scrolling, that will happen either sides of um, scrolling, even if you scroll left or if you scroll right, that will happen. Then home screen customization, wallpaper scrolling is also available. So wallpaper will be scrolled or you can keep it fixed, that option is available. Then the default transition animation between uh, uh, the home screen, so that can be selected from here. A lot of uh, uh, options are there, rotate, bulldoze, windmill, cube and sine wave, so you can select the transition effects. Then going back, uh, you can see auto arrange uh, icons, automatically arrange all the icons starting from the top left corner. Then uh, home screen backup and recovery, so you can uh, um, backup and uh, recover home screen setup. So if you if you reset the phone and you want the home screen setup to be restored, you can do it from here. So that's uh, some of the options in the home screen. Now you can see go to the settings and uh, these are the normal set of options uh, you see. Uh, the airplane mode, wireless LAN. So we are not going to talk about those options. Uh, here we can, um, if you go to the mode option, you can set default SMS manager, you can see if you have installed multiple uh, SMS manager apps, uh, you can uh, set that, that as a default uh, manager app. You can also configure VPN and hotspot from here. Now if you go down, uh, you can see the display. Here we have an important and uh, useful option. So you can see here display color balance. So if you scroll down, you can see the default uh, mode uh, is uh, factory default for optimal color. Then you have the comfort mode. Uh, you can see protect eyes and suitable when browsing your phone over long periods. So that's a uh, different mode. Then you have the custom mode. You can select the tone, saturation. Uh, you, if you want warm colors or cool colors, you can select it from here. Then uh, you can uh, select the saturation as well uh, from here. Uh, now let's go back to the default mode. And there is also smart brightness. Smart brightness technology is just when the phone is in a bright light uh, environment and starts smart brightness mode. So this mode enhances the visibility outside uh, in hard light environment. So that's a very useful option. If you just take it when you're going out uh, in bright sunlight, uh, the screen automatically uh, detects uh, the, the light condition and uh, the visibility will be improved based on that. So very useful option. Now let's click apply. That's the option. Now here you can see there is a menu key for recent task list. So if you don't want uh, the menu key to open uh, the recent uh, task, that means the uh, the multitasking option, you can uncheck it from here. So if you uh, if you click here, it will go back to this option. And uh, if you come back to the settings um, uh, display, let's come back to this option. Now if you select this, you can see the it will show up the re recent uh, task list. So that's uh, the option. Then you can cast the screen to other devices. LED notification. Uh, this is available uh, by default for missed calls as well as unread messages. So if you want other apps to show up notifications, uh, I mean uh, the notification light, LED light, you can just tick this and uh, other apps will also show up notifications uh, in the light. So the LED light will blink whenever you have other notifications from the apps. 
Now if you go to the lock screen settings, so we have the default set of options, lock, uh, lock uh, screen uh, theme is also included. That will come back later. Now you can see a power button instantly locks that's also enabled. Then you can see another important aspect, a pocket uh, uh, dial prevention mode. So use uh, proximity sensor to avoid uh, inadvertent uh, operations when phone is in your pocket. So if you turn this on and I'll just show you, so you can see here prevent uh, uh, unnecessary uh, screen touches by the pocket uh, uh, prevention dial mode that is uh, right now turned on that's uh, another useful option now let's go to the notification center you can see click to hide the notification center and you can also uh, uh, see uh, notification access uh, when screen is locked then advanced settings you can see uh, you can display the uh, battery indicator as graphic or uh, percentage so you can see right now it's percentage you can have it graphical as well then display the current network speed again uh, uh, available here then no net no screenshot notifications so if you are taking a screenshot you don't want the notification to happen you can uh, check this so that's those options in uh, notifications and then going to the feature uh, we have this quick snap uh, these are some of the gesture options so quick snap uh, uh, takes uh, a quick photo uh, by pressing the volume down button uh, when it is turned uh, when the display is turned on we'll just show you quickly so right now we have turned this on uh, turn this on and uh, now we have uh, uh, a kept of uh, item here now let's uh, see this option so you can see here now it has uh, I just press uh, double press the volume key and it has taken a photo so that's the uh, that's the option uh, we have looked at right now that's the quick snap option now let's go to uh, knock to light double tap on the screen while the screen is off to light up the screen so this is a very useful and popular feature uh, double tap to wake so just double tap on the display and it will wake up uh, the display so that's uh, the double tap to wake uh, option now screen off gestures slide to unlock unlock uh, to the camera and unlock to the chrome so these two we'll discuss we already done a video on that so uh, slide to unlock we can slide a left or right on the bottom of the screen to unlock so we'll just show you so right now the screen is turned off just swipe here and it is unlocked so that's a very simple option and you can use it to unlock you can just swipe either right or left to unlock the screen now next up uh, we have the unlock to camera so this can be configured uh, i mean uh, this you can select which all apps you want uh, which app uh, you want to use uh, with the gesture so you can see you can select uh, from the list of apps right now it's selected to camera similarly we have uh, these two selected to chrome so the only two gestures are included one is v and the other is o so we'll just show you this so we'll just draw a v and it will open the camera so similarly we'll just uh, so it will open the chrome so that's the gestures uh, we are talked about right now so these are uh, the gestures then you have the smart scene so we already discussed this uh, smart scene option you can see you can set different scenes sleep uh, home lunch office school meeting and night review so reach uh, how, do, how does a phone have to respond that can be set from here so that's a uh, smart scene then you have the wire touch so if you enable this you can see a floating icon this floating can be customized so you can change the size of the floating bar and also the transparency and um, you can uh, get some options here so these are some of the options in the floating uh, wire touch so if you go back uh, it will come back here then uh, uh, you can see here uh, cube toggles are included so these are some of the toggles cube toggles can be accessed you can access camera lock screen you can even add a particular option uh, to this uh, white touch and quickly access other options uh, available here so this is the option a uh, white touch uh, option is very handy option uh, if you if you want to quickly access some of the features now let's go to uh, the call settings so here we have another useful option that's called recording so uh, you can see here auto record start voice uh, record automatically when uh, answering a call but remember a lot of countries um, uh, do not allow a uh, call recording option that's uh, illegal in some countries so if you're okay with this feature uh, you can enable the auto call record so you can see here you can select which all uh, calls you should be recorded and uh, which all uh, should be discarded say for example from contacts or unknown you can uh, select uh, either all people as well so that was the call record option uh, and then i can just uh, go back and turn it off whenever you don't want then uh, we have a uh, 
uh, smart answer automatically answer when call uh, uh, I mean answer the call when the device is raised to the ear that is uh, if you uh, uh, take the phone and uh, place it near the ear it will automatically answer the call smart switch automatically switches to earpiece mode uh, during speaker when the device is raised near to the ear another uh, useful option then proximity sensor flip to mute uh, flip the phone uh, face down to mute uh, ringtone so just uh, flip it this way uh, to mute it so that is auto rear redial is also included then you have the schedule power off and on mode uh, that's self-explanatory uh, then uh, we have is permission controls you can see all the apps uh, and options which need permissions are listed here you can uh, selectively uh, set the permissions uh, and manage each permission for the apps then you have the secure zone uh, management so this is a uh, this is a zone where you uh, where you can configure apps accounts wallpaper and lock screen password that are different from the current uh, mode so that means if you're giving a phone uh, to your friend for some time uh, you can uh, just enable this secure zone and uh, select which all apps uh, can be used you can see here uh, you can enable it from here this is the area where you can enable secure zone so if you enable it uh, you can uh, see here then you can you can see here there is a notification that uh, uh, the secure zone in, is in right now in action then you have the data isolation and sharing uh, it's it's a kind of different area where you don't have access to whatever is right now available so it's kind of a different um, uh, user account uh, kind of option then you have uh, you have the option to delete the secure zone so now let's just activate it and uh, we'll just show you so this is secure zone management you can uh, start at boot and then floating button uh, and the uh, apps uh, which are available here so you can selectively enable uh, which all apps uh, you need and then click done that will be the secure zone and uh, if you if you don't want the secure zone uh, you can just um, uh, exit it from here you can switch from to the open zone so that's the secure zone that's another useful option uh, available here then in the storage uh, you can uh, you can make uh, the SD card as a default right is the, that's self-explanatory actually it's available in many other phones now in the power manager you have this option of battery saver uh, you can turn this on there is also ultimate power saver mode so this will uh, uh, make the device uh, respond in such a way that only calls contacts SMS and clock is available no uh, apps are included in this you don't have browsing uh, you don't have um, uh, I mean 3G or connectivity you just have uh, the basic options uh, like uh, uh, telephone contacts SMS and clock so you can exit the power saver mode once you're done that so that will help you get a uh, better battery life uh, if you're learning on low battery then uh, you have the smart switch uh, you can uh, enable a smart switch that means you can uh, switch to different modes at particular time so that's the uh, smart switch and then uh, you can uh, uh, get the power consumption details uh, from the device so those were some of the options uh, in the menu so we have uh, uh, seen some of the options uh, tips and tricks you can do on this device then you have the theme center so theme center you can uh, you can get some themes uh, so theme center has a few options you can see some of the themes included only six themes are available then you have wallpapers you can customize the lock screen you can have the recent task list as a Lenovo kind of option or uh, even uh, the default uh, Android option. So these two are available. So these are some of the options in the theme center. So overall it's a basic theme center. Nothing much to uh, customize there uh, like the MIUI uh, 6 where you have lots of themes to download. So these are some other tips and tricks you can do on the new Lenovo K3 Note with Android 5.0 and the YBI. So hope you like this video. If you like this video, do hit the like button and also subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.